and welcome to Crits and Coffee. I'm Barely Caffeinated, the host and dungeon master for tonight's session of Fandelver and Below, the Shattered Obelisk. But tonight's session is going to be a little bit different. Uh, first, however, a few couple announcements. Uh, I'm not going to do... You know what? I'll do a recap. Uh, so our last... No, I'm not going to do a recap. It wouldn't make sense. Uh, we'll do a recap later. Because uh, tonight's session is going to be a little bit different. Uh, one quick announcement is that we will have a Wildermyth campaign coming out here soon. April 16th is the first air date of episode one. Sorry, April 17th is the first airing date of Wildermyth. And we'll have a uh, session every Wednesday, Wildermyth Wednesdays. Don't forget it. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, with me. Yeah. Uh, with me are my wonderful players. Uh, and they are going to introduce themselves and uh, who they're playing for tonight. So let's start with Baka Zombie. Well, hi, I'm Baka Zombie. Uh, hey, 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 if you like my stuff, or if you like me, uh, you want to see more of my stuff, go follow me at uh, Zombie Baka on Twitter. I, I tweet out when I do new things. Also, I put all the things I'm involved with in my bio. So you go check that out. Um, tonight, uh, I, hey, you know me. I'll be playing Thania, the centaur druid. Very good. Uh, up next is Dr. Phage. Hello, I'm Dr. Phaedra Adam. Um, you can find me on Twitter at Little Growth. Um, that has also all the things that I'm in. Yeah, but tonight I am playing Helena, the centaur barbarian. Very cool. Kyle is M-I-A, and um, lastly, we have Bumblescum. Hey, it's your boy, Bumblescum, here with you. If you want to hit me up on all the places, you can follow the link tree in your mind by Googling Bumblescum. That's with a K. <laughs> 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 K-B-U-M-B. <laughs> yeah, K <-B> -U. <laughs> Sorry, just <laughs> the link tree in your mind. I just fucking got me. I don't know why. <laughs> I'm really funny. Uh, I'll be playing Ob2, the the Herring Gone Wizard. He's a little harried fellow. Very cool. Um, and if you guys can do me a favor and throw your character names into our Discord for me, that would help me a lot. Um, so tonight we are doing a little mini session since we have a missing player, and this story takes place in a forest southeast of Fandlin named named something that I have the Crypt Garden Forest where Fania uh, grew up and this takes place about how old is Fania now? In present um, time. Oh, in present time. <laughs> yeah, <in> present time. <laughs> uh, uh, I got this. It's 27. 27. So this would take place about Hold on, math. Wow, ten years ago. No, not ten years. Twenty-seven. Uh, Twenty years ago. Wow. Uh, I'm yes. A baby. So she is about roughly seven years old. Um. So again, this takes place southeast of Fandlin in the Crypt Garden Forest. Uh, and this is a beautiful, um, uh, just forest-filled community. And outside, we can see many wood elves and centaurs and fairies walking around, going about their business. Um, and as the beginning of the day starts, uh, each of you are sent outside to uh, enjoy the company, me, company of the other children in the community. You guys decide that um, you're going to play hide and seek. So what I need each of you to do is um, roll me a d6. Why would I grab a d20 like I knew what was going on? <laughs> I did the same thing. I thought he was going to say a dc check. something. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you want to get a result or should we uh, never tell you? Uh, yes, Fania. What did you get? A four. All right. Um, names Obi two. <laughs> what did you I got get? A six, six and Helena. Got a one. 
one. Helena, you are it. Helena, <laughs> okay, the it okay. we call her. <laughs> <laughs> that not nice. So, um, what we are going to do is I need each of you who is hiding to think of a location uh, within this community that you are essentially going to create as well. Uh, and I want you to think of a location that your character is hiding. Uh, so Helena is going to turn around, put her head on the barrel, and begin counting. And so on and so forth until she gets to 10. Uh, the rest of you, go ahead and make me a stealth check. Um, and Helena, I'll either let you do perception or investigation, depending on what you're doing. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> All right. I got... In 18 perception. Okay. Fania? Fania rolled a natural 20 for a 21. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> this is her story. <laughs> <laughs> OB2. You're never going to believe this, but I also rolled an 18. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow. See, I went in that misdirection. <laughs> So, Helena, you search within the nearby area, uh, searching around the houses. Um, and in this community, there's also some tree houses as well that also have, um, like, wraparound flooring that people can walk on and things like that. It's it's very um, Feywild-esque, but not quite the Feywild. It's very similar to it. Um, and searching behind barrels, and you can't quite find anybody yet so go ahead and roll me another investigation or perception and the rest of you also another stealth check got a 14 perception this time around okay Benia? a dirty 20 <laughs> We're gonna spend this whole short session never interacting. <laughs> Just hiding. <laughs> Fania's lost. That's this how is how you survive. <laughs> this is how you survive. You went through all of it. <laughs> I just was the best at hide and seek, and yeah. everybody left me. <laughs> Unfortunately, I only got an eleven this time. Okay, uh, so Helena, you begin to see what look like footprints of one of your close friends, Obi-2. Uh, Obi-2, where are you hiding? There is an old wizen owl hole in a great tree that is slightly taller than it is smaller. And in that hole where the owl would perch is instead Obi-2 pretending to be an owl. <laughs> <laughs> I think... Helena's not very good at hide and seek, and I think that's why everyone makes her it to start with, because her strategy is just to run around and hope she spooks people out of hiding. So I think she does like a lap around the village of just trying to spook everyone out of hiding, and then eventually looks up and just sees Obi-2 like squatting there, arms is like a bird, and is like, I gotcha, you're there, I found you. Who? You, no, that's not gonna work this time. It's you, Obi Two. I know who, who it is. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm like trying to jump and touch him to tag him, but I'm a centaur, so there's not a lot of like ups in this situation. <laughs> All right, catch, and I leap down <laughs> <laughs> uh, with the chair. <laughs> <laughs> He has the chair. <laughs> um, and in this particular, <laughs> in this particular hide and seek, this is the one where when you find somebody, they have to help you seek out the other people. Yeah. So both of you go ahead and roll me an investigation or perception. And Fania, go ahead and roll me a stealth. My good luck has to run out. I only have a plus one. <laughs> <laughs> I got a 21 perception. I got a 
seven investigation. <laughs> I get a, I get a ten. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm surprised. I, I'm I'm not finding because I'm too busy chattering about. Like, I'm surprised you were able to find me. I, normally, I don't think any of you would ever look up. <laughs> it seemed very outside of your normal range of vision. You are field animals, I suppose. <laughs> That's rude. That's just, we've told you that before. That's rude to say. <laughs> Um, and Helena, you spot some very familiar tracks that aren't yours. Uh, Fania, where are you hiding? Um, she would have gone to the base of the tree where, like, the storyteller wood elf would be living in. Uh, she's afraid of being up in the trees on the on their walkways because they're not very safe. <laughs> um, so she usually sits in the bush at the bottom of the tree and listening to stories. So that's where she's sitting. All right. There's her staff just sticking up out of the bush. <laughs> <laughs> and as you find uh, your dear friends, uh, each of you have noticed that one is still missing. Your good old mouse folk, Moss, uh, is hiding still. Each of you go ahead and roll me a perception check. You found me before Moss. Who? <laughs> Moss. <laughs> Your owl bit's not going to work this time. <laughs> um, oh, shit. I got a natural one. <laughs> I only got a nine. I got a 17. <laughs> nice. Helen is fully like, we're done. We found everyone. Wait, oh, Mouse is, Mouse is playing with us. Crap, crap, crap. <laughs> yeah, so um, Obi-2 for some reason you have this strange feeling uh, and almost an aching feeling that you can recall seeing Moss begin to head towards uh, what what all of you call uh, the Enchanted Grove which to all of you is an area that um, you're not allowed to go in under any circumstances unless you're called there what do you do? It's not a bit. I'm just getting into the mindset of a predator. Owls are great at hunting mice, you see, in the normal lands. Uh, the moss, I believe, if I were... Uh, uh, who, who? I see now. I think he might have... Oh, no, actually, I think about it. I think he was headed to the, in, the Enchanted Grove without an invitation. <laughs> but we're not supposed to go there. we supposed to do then? Isn't that against the rules? But we can't end the game until we find him. Um, I mean, would would it be okay if we went in because of the game? That's like an invitation. We're um, just collecting someone. Maybe if we catch him before he gets there. Okay, well, we better hurry then. We better hurry. Helena did take a while to find us. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> hey is for horses. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so each of you begin to rush off towards the uh, the Enchanted Grove. Um, each of you go ahead and roll me another perception check. Come on, baby Fania. <laughs> Seven. I did all my good hiding earlier. 23. I'm in owl mode. <laughs> 14. All right. So, uh, Fania and Obi-2, you guys do both see uh, some little tiny paw prints that are uh, leading into the grove. Uh, and each of you know a little bit about the grove, um, that there is a... Um, one, it's, it's very dangerous, but in the heart of the grove, there is a um, an ent named Oakheart. And you are aware of him, but the journey actually getting to the grove is dangerous. Why did he go in there? I mean, it is a good hiding spot, because we're not supposed to go in there, so we wouldn't think to look for him there. Yes, but the rules are we can't go up in the walkways because it's scary, and we can't go into the grove because it's forbidden. I think, I think the walkway ones is only when you're it. Yeah, 
It wouldn't be fair otherwise. That's true. That's true. That's true. What if he was asked to go there? Well, we were playing, and we set up, and everyone said, all right, I'm counting, I'm counting, I'm counting. And then Helena counted, and then someone was like, hello, Moss, we need to go to the Enchanted Grove. I didn't see him with anyone, but... Well, if he was invited, we weren't. Should, should, should we just go? We can't I be that know. bad. Wait. I mean, if no one... It's allowed in there. Um, no one will know that we're in there looking for Moss. Yeah. Yes. And you wouldn't want Moss to get in trouble, would you? No, I don't want him to. We'll be quick. We'll be quick. It'll be it'll be real quick. We'll just go okay. in and we'll get out before anyone. Okay, we knows. can't. We can't tell anybody. No, we are uh, secrets. Outside help in hide and seek is not allowed. <laughs> <laughs> all right so each of you some of you hesitantly begin to head uh into this uh extra depth of forest into this grove as the trees begin to get a little bit thicker um and some of the trees decaying and dying from other trees sprouting above it and uh essentially taking over its area um, as you guys begin to walk down, uh, each of you go ahead and roll me another perception check. Eight. <laughs> I have used all of my good perception checks. That's a four. Sixteen. Okay. Um, Sixteen. As you guys are walking through, um, which essentially is a path, as you're walking through this path, uh, Fania, you begin to notice that um, there are things moving on these trees, uh, almost blending in with the bark. Do you guys see that? No. Oh, I've had my eyes closed. That's I... probably not great. Uh, uh, still no sign of moss, moss, no. Well, no, there's... Tree. There's something on the trees. Is it leaves? And I look at this. <laughs> <laughs> no, moving on the bark. As some of them begin to drop onto the ground and you hear a... Oh. And we're going to roll initiative. Oh, no. Huh. Oh, it's no. a gas leak. <laughs> <laughs> this is all a hallucination. <laughs> oh, there's my natural 20 again. <laughs> all right, Fania. Natural 20. 21. 21? Yeah. Um, names. Uh, wow, my brain. Uh, Helena. Uh, that's a five for Helena. Ooh. OB2. I have a plus five, so I have a seven. <laughs> <laughs> this is why she doesn't exist anymore. She was bit by a snake and is dead. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Fania, start us off, uh, and so I'm gonna get it, some more appropriate this, music here. Is, the, um, is there snakes? <laughs> yes, What's you see um, a lot of snakes. Actually, a lot of snakes are coming towards you, uh, and this is essentially a swarm of snakes. Huh. Um, as a baby, <laughs> how how many of my level one features do I have? Like, do I have spells? Um, hmm, this is tricky. <laughs> Let me re review what you got here, because I don't fully remember. Um, you have... You have your staff. Mm -hmm. um, you have... Oh, I'm opening wrong stuff. Um, just use your best best judgment. Uh, okay. Try to think of, you know, what would you have as a... Bee. You know, <laughs> yeah, a little baby. Um, a baby. And I would say that 
you have been noticed to have some potential as a druid, but maybe haven't quite found it just yet. Okay. I will rip my staff white knuckled with both hands. I'm going to swing at uh, the snake that's close to me. The swarm. Um, just widely. A 19. Hmm. 19. Baby Fania is better than a Dolphin. <laughs> 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 That's nine points of damage, max damage from Fania. Yeah, she just closes her eyes and swings her staff wildly at these snakes approaching her. Very cool. Um, Obi two. Okay. Um, I am going to. Oh, sorry, I realized so my spells didn't. End. Spell. Not what, um, how far away are the snakes? Um, Fania is five feet, and I would say all of you stopped roughly 15 feet away. Okay. I am going to... Uh, uh, so I have, a, I have this um, heirloom pocket watch that I keep around my neck as a necklace and I am like kind of panicked about this whole situation and I'm like oh no no this is no good it's it's getting too late to be dealing with snakes and I'm like looking at the time and like the clock is like spinning faster and faster and faster um, and I'm gonna try and cast sleep okay yeah. <laughs> do the snakes have more hit points than baby Pena <laughs> <laughs> or fewer hit points than baby Put it on the other side of the snakes. Don't have to hit me. <laughs> uh, 32. Um, yeah, I'm putting it like, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to include. Uh, it's not time to go to bed for for uh, Fania, so. Uh, but it's 32 on the snakes. 32. Uh, so as you cast this sleep, you see this uh, swarm of snakes just fall asleep immediately. Oh. I was startled there for a moment, uh, but I'm good. It's glad to, glad to see that uh, the, the snakes realize it's, it's getting too close to bedtime for snakes. <laughs> oh. She's gonna like, stride over to some of the snakes that she smacked with her staffs. I'm sorry, little snakes. Um, she's gonna like make sure they're okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they're just taking a little snooze. Ha ha ha, puns. Helena is just like scooping up armfuls of snakes and just like putting them into the bushes off to the side <laughs> so they're out of our path and hopefully then we'll just slither off into the woods when they wake up. Alright, let's find some less scary music. Um, that might be as good as I can get for now. Those. Um. What time of day is it? Like, does it at least appear? It is. It is still in the morning. Morning. Yep. Snakes um, are very well known for sleeping by eleven a.m. No, they like <laughs> to be out when the sun's out because it warms their bodies. Um. Do you think they know we're not supposed to be here, and that's why they came after us? The snakes are usually pretty harmless if you leave them alone. Maybe? But we still have to find moss. Hmm. Oh no! What if they were trying to tell us where moss was? Oh, I should have asked them. I, I can't talk to snakes. Me either, but that's for the better, because no outside help in hide and seek. <laughs> well, we should keep looking before more snakes come for us. All right, so you Let's guys to continue it. to truck on through this forest, and uh, as you keep continuing to go through it, it does continue to get 
uh, darker and darker, even though it is in the morning and it seems like the sun should be shining really bright. Uh, all of these trees that are around uh, just engulf uh, the sun that should be hitting you, but is instead uh, is getting stopped by their leaves. And as you begin to um, continue walking and see this, um, what looks like an entryway, and you believe this to be the grove. I'm, I'm assuming the footprints go inside of this entryway? Yes, they do. have to right right I don't know what if we get yelled at um, I mean like we could we caught like we could end the game like we could tell Moss that it's done and like promise that it's done and then it's not a trick just for us to find him I, I, I don't know. I, I tried doing that a few times already during Hide and Seek, and I think he might think we're just trying to play him again. Well, if you didn't do it as a trick every time, maybe you would believe us. Well, he, I wouldn't do it so many times if he didn't believe it so many times. <laughs> uh, well, um, think about it this way. What if... What we're doing is is um we're we're making sure Moss doesn't get yelled at. That makes sense. But Helena, you have to go first. Okay, I'll go first. You you have to follow though. I can't be the only one to go in. You are it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Helena will go first into the grove. All right. Uh, all of you roll a perception check. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of perception checks. Ooh. 23 for Fania. 10 for OB2. 13. Okay. Uh, so, Fania, you're going to get advantage on this next roll. Uh, but as you guys are approaching this grove, um, it's a little bit too late, but you can see wrapping around the trees is a giant constrictor snake. And we're going to roll initiative. Oh, I'm dead. This is the one you have advantage on, right? This is the one I die. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Ooh, good thing I had advantage because I rolled a one. <laughs> From a one to a two, let's get it. <laughs> I have a three. Uh, Helena, what'd you roll? Twelve. And Obi two. Twenty one. Mm -hmm. Very good. All right, back into some uh, some fighting here. All right, so you see this giant snake beginning to wrap around. Not quite close enough to you guys yet to where it's really concerning, but it is wrapping around you and around the trees as well. Uh, and based on its size, it could easily snap through these trees as well. It's massive. Um, so... Currently, it is about 10 feet away from you. And it, this is, uh, we're, we're in a grove. We're in a pretty fancy place. Is Does this Close. seem like... Uh, so you're not uh, quite in the grove yet. This is like the entrance right, I mean, into the grove. Right, but I mean, right. That's not, sorry, that's not what I'm trying to imply here. What I'm trying to imply is this place is a place of magic and whatnot. Is this, does this seem like, just, is this like a, just a regular big old snake there's no From what like, you can tell yeah fainness to it or anything no. okay um then i am <laughs> uh. <laughs> this is fun i <laughs> uh, he will uh, do nothing for now. <laughs> Back away five feet. <laughs> I initiative, but like, 
there's not anything I can do about a snake. <laughs> okay. Um, so OB2 backs up just a little bit. And up just next in the order is Helena. Um, Helena is going to gather all of her courage here. <laughs> Fania's murmured. I think the snake eat, ate moss. <laughs> <laughs> um, and she is going to go into a rage. As she just like grabs um, her quarter staff as well and just runs forward and um, screaming in fury, give me back my friend. <laughs> um, and I'm gonna non-lethally attack the snake. I don't know if it's a whole piece. Okay. Um, that's an 18 to hit. Okay. That does hit. Four... Seven blood damage. Alright, so as you run up and smack this snake, I'm uh, not really able to tell if it really hurt. You haven't even seen its head yet. Uh, it's still just circling around. You said it was, what, seven damage? Alright. Uh, as you run up and smack this snake on the head, you hear, Have no fear! Moss is here! As he jumps down uh, from the treetops and takes his rapier to stab at the snake for a 17, which does hit. Someone and... gave a seven year old a sword. <laughs> <laughs> this is a wild community. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta defend yourself out in the wilds. <laughs> Moss is ready. Uh, I'll stab a bitch in this forest. <laughs> all right. Who gave Moss a knife? <laughs> I don't know. I thought we took him all away from him. So he's got a knife. We well, said rule number five: no more knives during hide and seek. <laughs> well, he asked. He asked for him nicely, so I gave him back. Oh. <laughs> hey, ya. I, I say rapier, but it's really just a stick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Fania. Um, I'm sorry, Mr. Snake, but I guess we're we're hitting you. Um, <laughs> swing my staff. <laughs> I thought the snake had eight, eaten our friend. That's why I hit the snake. <laughs> yeah. Now we've all hit it, so I might as well join in. I don't think we can really talk it down at this point. 18. All right, Fania, as you walk up to hit this snake, uh, roll me a d10. Uh oh. Ooh, he eats me. Love That's that. a percentile. Uh, how about a nine? Uh, so as you walk up to hit this snake, um, your bones begin to crack and you shape shift into a badger. As you can kind of feel um, this energy from the grove that you're experiencing, um, you've you've never experienced power like this before. Um, you've always known that you've had some kind of connection, but you haven't felt something like this surging through your body. So you're a badger. I think in surprise, she's <laughs> like looking at her clawed feet uh and looks around confused at the others um and ends her turn <laughs> out of confusion you can still attack if you'd like i i think i think sh this happening for the first time she wouldn't have the wits to attack okay love it uh up next would then be back to obitu Oh, 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 oh no, oh no. Uh, we got This is real bad. This is real bad. Um no, oh, 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 you have to call it. You have to call it. Elda, call it. Call what? I found, we found it. Found it. We're done. Game We're done. We can leave. We got to leave before trees turn us into all all into aggressive uh badgers. <laughs> Uh, and then I will do this one. Uh, yeah, okay, okay. Then I'm gonna start like 
backing. Mm, I'm gonna start backing away again. I'm gonna try to stay within like 60 feet of everyone, but um, I wanna like start with it like, all right, let's go. We've, we've done it. We'll just have to tell everyone Fenya was always a badger. Um, and next would be Helena. Uh, Helena full-on scoops up, if you'll allow it, both, uh, the badger and Moss, and just runs away from the snake, just, like, both under her arms, just like, we gotta go, what, do is badger now, how, how do we, how do, how do, uh, what do we do, this is why we don't go into the grove, because you get turned into a badger! running uh full speed away from the snake. <laughs> okay. Uh Moss says, wait, no! We have to see this through. No. No. Do you I like I hold Moss by like the scruff of his neck <laughs> and hold Fania like face to face. Do you not see what happened? Fania's a badger <laughs> Uh go ahead and make me a contested grapple. <laughs> Okay, I got advantage on this because I'm in a rage still here, Moss. <laughs> so I didn't roll very well though. <laughs> um, that's a 14 athletics. Okay, so Moss is just kind of kicking, unable to get out of your grasp. Is there anything else you'd like to do? No. <laughs> Helen is in a panic of like, her friend is a badger now. What do we do about this? <laughs> And not a magical badger, just like a regular badger. It is It is going to be so hard to lie about not going into the grove now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Fania, roll me a d10. Uh, that is another nine. <laughs> uh, roll a different one. Okay. How about another nine? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 uh, no. Six. <laughs> six. Uh, you turn into a giant frog. <laughs> um, and this frog <laughs> is... Giant frog. Get just the twisting and cracking and skin turning in from fur and loose skin into this amphibious, uh, slimy skin. Yep. Uh, and this frog is even bigger than you, Helena. So um, go ahead and roll me a strength check if you want to continue holding on to Fania. Forget if your age ends if you don't end your turn doing it or if it's the next turn. Since my last turn. And you had attacked on your last turn. Right, so I think I still have it until we get back to me again. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Uh -oh. Um, That is, if it's just a straight strength check, a 17. All right. Um... I don't know how much a giant frog weighs, uh, but I'll say it's good enough. You are able to continue holding on to Fania. I I fully drop mouse to hold Fania with like <laughs> two arms now. I'm like I don't think this is getting worse, guys. Throat inflating. <laughs> um, like, and Fania. Now. After you shape shift again, you feel a strong. Um, compelling force that wants you to get into the grove. I will I'll kind of uh, try to frog nod at Helena. <laughs> try to jump. Frog nod. I'm going to jump out of her arms uh, <laughs> towards the grove. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Um, and as you do this, uh, this snake, in a very rapid succession, begins to constrict Helena. Uh, for Why a nat one. This is way not in the current game. Oh, nat one, never mind. For a nat one. I mean, this stuff to take the lower roll. <laughs> so, as this snake finally begins to constrict uh, hastily at Helena, you're able to just leap right above it 
Um, it is big, so it is quite a big leap for you, but you are able to get past it. Uh, up next is Obi-2. Oh no, Moss, you've really done it this time. You know rule number two is no entering the grove. Uh, uh, I have to think here, I have to think. The, the snakes are known for hypnotizing people and eating frogs. I am assuming that's what's happening to Fania right now. <laughs> She's being hypnotized into being eaten. Um, um, uh, and then I'm going to, um, <laughs> I have to, I have to emphasize how exactly a snake is something I just can't fight. <laughs> 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 so, um, I'm going to try and keep a middle ground still, like try to be within range of everyone the best I can. Um, try to like frantically, like, no, nope, uh, 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 like panicking, like going between each of them. And so I'll just be like in the in middle spot, like frantically, like trying to figure out how to help. Okay. Uh, oh, actually, actually, I will, I will, um, uh, uh, just, just, uh, 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 just think skinny thoughts. And I like <laughs> tap <laughs> on the, on the leg while she's being constricted. <laughs> uh, and I cast guidance on you. Uh, <laughs> and I like, like dash over to the frog who doesn't know that she's being hypnotized. <laughs> Helena looks down at herself and suddenly develops a body image problem. It's like, what do you mean, big skinny thoughts? I thought, okay. <laughs> All right, uh, it is Helena's turn. Uh, um, I don't know if I'm in a rage anymore. I'll use another rage just to make sure that I'm in one. Um, this snake came after me, so I'm going to come after this snake. Um, quarterstaff attack. Ooh, that's gonna miss. That's a seven. Okay. Seven does unfortunately miss. Uh, as you go to strike it, it kind of just glides against its, um, its scales. Helena's really thinking about that think skinny thoughts. Um, <laughs> and just really throws her off. <laughs> I was trying to give you the ability to escape the grapple, but... Look, you're the <laughs> one that called me fat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Fania does, or sorry, uh, Moss. Moss is going to take an attack for a 19, which does hit. And that's going to do. Wow. <laughs> uh, four damage. This giant snake is. Uh, he takes his little rapier and just takes a jab at it. Now it is Fania's turn. Keep popping the grove okay um and as you enter this grove um bye all my friends i hope you don't <laughs> die <laughs> or if you do it's swift and painless <laughs> uh, goodbye Fania. i hope you don't die and if you do i hope it's swift and painless <laughs> goodbye, so Fania, as as you enter this grove, uh, you see this massive tree in the middle of this grove, and uh, you shift back to your normal centaur, bones cracking, and all of that great stuff. Ow. Uh, and as if it's speaking in your head, you are a fool to enter the enchanted grove. Instantly shrinks back into herself. Sorry, I thought I was supposed to. No. However, I can see much potential within you. What is your name? Oh. Fania. Fania. I can help you unlock this potential. Hmm. A few questions. 
questions first. What's your name? My name is Oakenheart. Protector um, of the Grove. Oh, it's an honor to meet you, um, Oakenheart. Like bows very deeply. <laughs> like splays her front legs so that she can get low. <laughs> and um and what potential are you speaking of? Like the like when I can make a uh, little flowers bloom? Much more than that. Upon entering the grove, you turned into animals, mm. which you've never done before. No. I can help you awaken these powers. Is it going to hurt every time I change into animals? It will for a while. But the more you continue to shapeshift, the more you will understand and realize these powers, making it less painful for you. Okay. Fenya, I sense a destiny within you. Um, and he takes one of his branches and, um, places his hand on your head. There will be and he kind of ponders for a second. One day, Fenya, you will have to leave this forest so that you may save this forest and every other forest around us. All, all of them? Just me? All of them. And you will bear a terrible light. Oh. You must find the source of this blight and cleanse it so that you may cleanse these forests around us again. That sounds a little scary. It is very scary. However, everything around you is alive. The trees, the birds, the wind, the grass beneath your feet. All of this will be with you on your journey to help cleanse this blight. Um, and he shows you for just a second what the forests are going to look like. And you can see destruction and blight and disease spreading across all of these forests. You see animals dead laying in the forests, the waters filled with sludge uh, for the rivers. Um, and, and all of that happens in one big instance. A lot to take in. This is what will happen if you don't save our forests. We can't, we can't stop it bef before it gets here? Unfortunately not. And you, Fenya, will bear a great burden and great loss We must prepare you for these troubling times ahead. Mm -hmm. 
And just remember that you have friends all around you. Um, and as he does this, uh, he lifts his hand back up from your head and crutches at her antler nubs. <laughs> For a minute, everything seems really good. You're, you're within this grove and you have this light shining into the grove and you you feel this burden that he's talking about and after seeing the blight and a little glimpse of what is and what can happen that's where we're going to end tonight's session Thank you all for joining us tonight. Uh, this was a chance for me to kind of test a little bit of my DM improv, so I apologize if it wasn't super great, but uh, just a little baby DM. And thank you to the players. Baby uh, yeah, I get to learn a little bit about Baby Fania, uh and her upcomings as a druid uh, and getting to train with her now mentor, Oakenheart. Uh, we do have a at least one other session with Fania as well, uh, and a little, couple other sessions of backstories for our other characters as well. Uh, in the event that we're ever missing a player, or maybe even we'll just fill out at some point throughout our campaign here. So, um, thank you all very much for joining us, and we will see you next time.